Hello, this is Luigi Vampire from Vampire's Minecraft server, and today I'll be doing a video going over the XP shop plugin for Minecraft. Uh, as with all plugins, you'll need to download the jar file. Um, to get that, go to the DevBucket website, uh, devbucket.org, type XP shop into the search bar, and that'll bring you the search listings. I think this one was developed by IBHH. There's the author. Pick that one. In the links on the right, uh, 6.6 has had a safe function added to it. So now, on top of just buying and selling XP, uh, you can also buy and sell the levels. Um, you can now store your own levels. So if you want, uh, if you want to just buy and sell, one of the older jar files will do. But if you want the safe function, you'll have to get the 6.6. .6. Download that. Wing it in the plugins folder. Start the server up. And then that will go and generate all the config files. I say all the config files, there's only one with this. Oh, I think there's also a, a GUI with it as well. There it is. Graphical user interface. Check to see that they've um, generated. Stop the server and we'll go and have a look. Now, language. Uh, EN English. There is German with this as well. If you wanted to add another language, I think you could probably just add, say, uh, Dutch, uh, and then fill in the text or any language you like and then so long as you came back up the top here and changed that to uh, NL you'd be alright uh, all downloads uh, there's a download a new version when it's available um, these are the ratios money to XP and XP to money of what it sells it and buy, buying it keep your XP on your death connection of safe to shop that's pretty pretty handy I haven't actually tested that, so have a look at that now. I'd imagine that that would link the safe to the shop, so that as you buy and sell XP, it would be um, deposited and withdrawn from your safe. Now, if you want to send XP to players, um, do they have to be online to do so? Uh, use a database to manage the XP, so that... Um, you record everything uh, and then this is what parts of the plugin do you want actually to be uh, activated or deactivated in this case so if you were to um, just want to let them buy and sell XP you could set deactivated to true for buying and selling levels and such and then the bottom bit these are just the um, text lines that appear in the chat bar when you uh, make a transaction or some kind of interaction with the plugin itself. Uh, well yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a look at the permissions for it. Now, um, the admin permissions. I don't remember what these are without looking. Is XP shop create admin to create an admin shop now the admin shop is not actually linked to any players uh, XP so in other words it just pulls XP out of thin air when it wants to sell some and then the XP shop admin I think is related to the safe which means you can uh, destroy other players uh, saves and such now the user commands XP shop um, create own is the ability to let a player create their own XP shops and then there would be XP shop use I think it is so they can use shops and then XP shop safe create 
which allows them to make their own saves. They're just double checking. Wouldn't want to give you some wrong information. On the home page of the XP shop, um, pages on the bucket dev, there is a link there to commands and permission nodes. Uh, XP create own, create admin, XP shop use, XP safe use. Create own, safe. Uh, safe create, not create safe. That's fine. No, he's good. And then, well, yeah, run the server then. That'll upload any edits we just made. Done. So now, right, um, first of all, the admin shop. Uh, first line is XP shop in square brackets. The second line is the word admin, sh the words admin shop, no space. The third line is uh, the amount of XP within a transaction, we'll say 10. And then the bottom line, the first portion is how much it costs to buy. And then separated by a colon is how much you get paid if you sell. So then if I left click, um, I've just bought 10 XP from the admin for a tenner, and if I right click, I've just sold 10 XP for 6 quid. Now then, um, the player shop, again, it's pretty much the same sign, except instead of having admin shop, you will have the player name. Um, 10 XP per transaction, uh, buy it for 10, sell it for 6. Ah, right, and because uh, the connect safe to shop part of the config file, see, normally um, as you buy and sell there, it will just be added uh, to your XP bar above the inventory there. But since I set that node to true, I have to add a save underneath the shop. And the XP shop save is XP shop save. Uh, player name. The third line you leave blank, uh, that will um, fill in with how much you've got in the save. And then the next line after that is depositing, is the amount of the transaction. So if I left click it, I would draw 10, and if I right click, I deposit 10. Yeah, I can't withdraw, there's nothing in the safe. So if I deposit 100 XP, then if I left click the safe, I bought 10 XP from the shop and it's withdrawn 10 XP from the safe and if I right click I will be selling it although that doesn't seem to deposit it back in the safe oh, hello. Where you are? get out of my shop Um, yeah, that's the signs. There are a bunch of commands that goes with it as well. Um, XP shop um, by 100, which means I've bought 100 XP. Um, the opposite of that, XP shop sell 100. I've um, sold it. Now, when you buy and sell using the commands, that is based on the prices that are written in the config file, which was one to one. Whereas over on the signs here, I've got 
I'm buying it back at 60% of what I'm selling it for in order to make a profit and then there is uh, buy levels as well XP shop um, buy level 100 I've just spent 39 and a half grand and bought myself 100 levels of XP I'll do some enchanting with that and you yeah. bye bye Oh, I just made a couple of XP, I'll go over here and wang that in safe. And that's the XP shop plugin. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.